In this video, we're going to be looking at how many teams there should be in an agile release train. First, we're going to look at the official definition. Then we're going to look at, in practice, what is the optimal size for an agile release train, a collection of agile teams. Hey friends, I'm Ahmed, a scaled agile transformation coach for Fortune 500 companies and a certified scaled agile trainer based in the UK. So let's have a look and see what the scaled agile framework has to say about agile release trains. So if we go to their website, we can have a look and see the Agile Release Train is a long-lived team of Agile teams, which along with other stakeholders incrementally develops, delivers, and where applicable operates one or more solutions in a value stream. So that's the official definition, if you like, of an Agile Release Train. Now, one thing you may have noticed, especially those of you that are doing your certified training, that it hasn't called out the exact number of teams in the actual article. Those of you that have been going through the courses or getting ready for your exams, you'll know the official answer is between five on the lower end, five teams, up to 12 teams on the upper end is the range for the number of teams that you can have on an agile release train. So that's the number of uh, teams. Let's now start to have a look at the number of individuals that you can have on an agile release train. Okay, so the answer to that is we have between 50 on the lower end and up to 125 plus on the upper end. So 50, the lower end is based upon empirical observation and the upper limit that's based upon Dunbar's number. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at what the upper end is, what's all this Dunbar number about, and then we're gonna discuss and we're gonna look at the lower limit and how that actually works in practice. Okay, so what is Dunbar's number? So Robin Dunbar, an anthropologist from the 1990s, and he found this correlation between a primate's brain size and the average social group that that primate was a part of. And so from there, he extrapolated what the stable relationships would be for human beings and he came up with something around 150. Now this is questions and it is a little bit controversial um, in terms of the causality. However, there is some empirical evidence to support this. So now let's have a quick look at that. So it's sometimes referred to as a rule of 50 and there's a new scientist article that's quite interesting. The link is in the description below if you want to, if you're interested to have a, understand a little bit more. So when we look at the rule of 150, it was the average size of the English villages. It was also considered to be the ideal size for the church parishes. It's also the size of something called the company, which is a basic military unit as well. And so all of these things tend to give some credence to the idea of the rule of 150 as well. But let's have a look and see, according to the new scientists, what the different um, relationships and the sizes of relationships that we have and how it spans out. So if, you, if this is you, this represents you over here. The first circle is your closest intimate friends and those are five, up to five of your closest intimate relationships that you may have, okay? Then you've got your, the next round, which is your, your best friends over here. And that comes to 15. Then you've got good friends, which is 50, okay? Then is where we come to Dunbar's number. And this is just basically your friends. So that's 150. Okay. Sorry for the wonky circles there. Okay. And then we've got beyond that now is just uh, basically our acquaintances. Okay. So that's 500 and that's our acquaintances. And then, and it goes beyond there as well. Okay. So we'll stop there. So we've got that. Okay. So if we buy that, if we agree with the New Scientist article, um, then based upon that, where does an agile release train fit in then? So we say it's between 50 and 125 plus. So you're talking really around this kind of zone over here. This is where your agile release train would fit in over here. Okay. 
um, from starting there up to around this zone over here. And this is roughly, again, sorry about the wonky, this is roughly where the your agile release train would fit in the overall scheme of things over there. Now, one of the things that I have seen, let's talk a little bit about uh, in practice now. So at the upper limit, I've personally worked on agile release trains up to about 16 teams, and there are probably about 170 people in there. I personally started to see as we went beyond that, the you started to see the uh, um, telltale signs of communication breakdown, unwieldy planning, and other challenges start over there. Balls start to get dropped, and then that impacts our delivery predictability. So you, from what I've personally seen, is up to about 60 and about 170 people. That's about the max in practice. And from the lower end, I've seen that where there's a lot of dependencies, three teams can benefit from being part of an agile release room. So that's roughly about 30, 35 people over there. They can, they can benefit from that. Now, if you've got three teams, but there's hardly any dependencies and they're working very independent, then it probably doesn't make a lot of sense for you to have the overhead of setting up an agile release train. Remember, there's a lot of overhead associated with setting up an agile release train as well. So there you have it in a nutshell. The exam answer is five to 12 teams, 50 to 125 individuals. The upper limit's based upon Dunbar and the lower is based on empirical evidence. So that's your exam answer. And for those looking for real world application, I suggest you can have Agile release train a bit larger, up to, as I said, about 16 teams, up to about 170, 60, 170 people, and starting from about 30 onwards, if you've got a large dependency. So hope you find that useful. Stay tuned for other scaled Agile tips and exam support and other questions that we, we're gonna answer on this channel. Look forward to seeing you soon. Take care and goodbye.